Hello friends, hope everybody's doing okay today. Oh, I needed to do a cake. I done a red velvet cake last week. It's about gone. So I decided today I would do a million dollar cake. A million dollar pound cake. This makes a very big cake. Uh, the ingredients are about the same as uh, as a pound cake. Now I have a new pan. I'm going to try it in. I have this one here and it uh, it has the little clouds. I've got flour all over it. Well, when it gets done, all I have to do is open it up. So we're going to try this today. I hope it's big enough to hold the cake because I usually do a abundant cake or I do the angel food cake pan. So today we're going to try this one. It's new. Never have used it. So this, um, this cake is fairly easy. It just takes a lot, a lot of beating. Uh, it takes four sticks of unsalted butter and you beat it for about five minutes after you you put it in your in your uh, mixer. Now I'm gonna start out using this um, this one with my mixer, and then I'm when I get to the flour, I'm gonna change over and I'm gonna use this one because it's gonna be more thicker. So anyhow, we're going to start off. I got my directions here. I hope I don't. Um, we're going to start with our unsalted butter. So it takes four sticks of unsalted butter. Now, because I'm using unsalted butter, um, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt to my flour when I start putting my flour in. I've had this butter out for several days because I kept thinking every day I would get this cake baked. But I haven't done it. Let me put you back down. Because I thought every day I would get this cake baked. And anyhow, I ain't got it baked yet. So we're going to put four sticks of unsalted butter in here. And it's good It's good in that room temperature because it's been out so long. So I hope it don't, hope it don't affect the cake. Four sticks. Now you can use any brand. Uh, this probably was uh, probably the Save brand, most likely. Uh, sometimes I take a little more caution to what what kind of butter I use, and I may use this, and it may be too greasy, and I may have wished I'd have used something else. So anyhow, we're going to start mixing our butter. Now it's going to take the recipe called to mix it for five minutes till it's good and fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed and as soon as it gets through, as soon as it gets mixed enough, then I'll be right back with you. Okay, we have mixed our butter for five minutes. You can see how pretty and creamy the butter is in there. We mixed it for five minutes. Now it calls for three cups of granulated sugar. So the, the recipe calls to put your sugar in. I can't... If I, it's three cups, so we're going to go ahead and put our sugar in. We've done measured out our sugar. We're going to go ahead and add our sugar. And we're going to add one tablespoon of pure vanilla flavoring. And I have not took the top off. Okay, that's one tablespoon of pure vanilla flavor. And it calls for one teaspoon 
of almond flavor. And that's almond extract. And since I don't have my teeth in, it's in the dishwasher, I'm gonna do two. This is a half a teeth thing, so we're gonna do one. And we're gonna do two. Now, we're gonna mix it another five minutes. So when we get through mixing it five minutes, I'll be back. Okay, I forget a lot, but um, our oven is set on 300 degrees. That's what we'll be baking the cake on is 300. So we've already got our oven high. Oh, it's already hot. I preheated up, preheated up, and uh, and then mixing this, I mix it on medium to high to high. It's what I usually do mine on. So I wanted to show you. See how pretty? I mean, it is so fluffy. It is. It is really pretty. So now we're going to start adding our eggs one at a time. And um, every time I need something, it's in the dishwasher. Let's see. Okay, we're going to try this. Now your eggs, mine's at room temperature. Mine or your, my, my chicken eggs. But always, always break them in one dish and put them in your uh, mixer. Now I'm going to put my mixer down and I'm going to start it just on low so you can hear what I'm saying. Um, always crack your egg one at a time. These are large eggs. And I didn't have quite enough. I had put a bunch of eggs in the freezer. So, I had my chickens were laying and I, I watched a video this morning. I can't remember who it was. Um, snakes eating their chickens. Well, the snakes are eating my eggs. We have got rid of so many eggs this year. I mean, so many snakes. It, it's just unreal. It's so aggravating. And uh, they will eat every one of the eggs. And then the chickens don't want to lay their eggs. We have range chickens, what you call range chickens. Our chickens are not in a chicken pen. They are, they shut up at night, and then in the mornings, I let them out, and they go all over the place. So, we have to hunt their eggs half the time. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn this up. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and stir it up a little bit. Yard eggs or chicken eggs make sure everything's so dark and yellow and pretty. We've always had, we had chickens for that, but that's why we get cheers. And they're in a chicken pen. We close them up at night, but we always let them out during the day. If you can see how pretty and yellow, how pretty and yellow it is after you use your yard eggs, it has the prettiest color. So now we're going to switch over and we're going to put this one on. And I do make a mess when I'm cooking. I, that's just the way I am. I've got this stuff all over. Well, let's see, get in there. 
So now, this takes four cups of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and put my salt in there. And I'm using, doing the salt <coughs> because my butter was unsalty and it recommends put a half a teaspoon of butter and of salt in it if you uh, if you use unsalted butter. So you do this alternate. We've got four cups of flour and we've got three fourths cup of of sweet milk. Now you can use sweet milk or you can use buttermilk, either one, whichever one you want to do. But I'm I'm using sweet milk today. So we're going to do this alternate. We're going to go ahead and put a little flour in. Now this is four cups of, of all-purpose flour and it has been sifted. It has to be sifted. So we're gonna put a little flour in it. We're gonna add just a little milk. And we're gonna start mixing it up. All-purpose flour. And, and it has to be filled with citrus, so don't forget that. We're going to stop it. I'm stopping it so that you can hear what I'm saying. So we're going to add a little more flour. Four cups of flour. Okay, we're going to add just a little more milk. Now this cake has to cook an hour and at least an hour and 30 minutes, possibly an hour and 40 minutes. We will have to watch it and do like the toothpick test to see if it's done at an hour and 30 minutes. Get the rest of our flour. And then we're gonna add the rest of our milk. Start it off on slow because it'll throw all that flour up in your face. And then turn it up. A very big cake and I hope it's not too big for my new pan I have measured it out and um, my other pans would fit inside this pan so we hope that works okay so we're going to take this out now we're going to start trying to put it in our pan it looks like it's mixed up good. Always check it to make sure it's mixed up good. Whew, that's a heavy pan. That's a heavy cake. So we're going to start and I am going to get a spoon. I'm not going to try to do that. This is really heavy, y'all. So, you don't want to stir it. Okay. 
We're just going to pour it in our pan. I hope you. You, this is this is a lot of cake. I hope I haven't overthought with my pan. If I did, I'll have cake all in my oven. But this was a large cake pan, and like I say, I checked it with my abundant pan and pan and my angel food pan. And both of them sit down in it. So, okay, now I am not going, I'm not going to spread this out, I'm just going to give it a little touch up, and I'm going to put it in the oven just like this. I'm not going to spread the tops of it out or anything because I kind of want my cake to be rickledy on the top. So, we're going to put this in the oven. We're going to cook it for an hour and a half and then we'll check it. And as soon as it gets ready and I take it out of the oven, I'll be back with you. Okay, friends, we're back. Our cake cooked an hour and 40 minutes. So, we're going to see if we can get it out of here. And it is still really hot. And I don't think this pan was efficient enough for this cake. It was just too big. And as you can see, it is wanting to fall off the top. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to turn it over. Let's see what we can do here. Let me get a bat, another bad clock. Okay, we're going to see if we can get this cake turned over. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I am going to... Let's see what I'm going to do. <laughs> it is falling apart. So. Oh, dear. That didn't work at all. Okay. We got our cake turned upside down. Needless to say, our cake fell. It is beautiful on top. It turned out real good. It has the best taste. The taste is absolutely wonderful. Um, it would have done better in a Bundy pan. <coughs> would have done a lot better. But it had the wonderful taste. And... Uh, that's all that matters is, I mean, it's going to be eaten. So, anyhow, half of this will go in our freezer. Uh, we will put half of it in there. We'll eat, we'll eat half of it because uh, it would take us for a, a while to eat a whole cake. So, anyhow, hope you've enjoyed this video. Even though it's a beautiful cake, it's just a cake that failed, but it's fine. It'd be good to eat. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you if you did, give like us, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll be putting on more videos on baking and canning and prepping and all. Uh, so anyhow, thank you so much for watching, and you have a blessed day.